Hello, friends. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here today for episode 9 of A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. My name is Chelsea Marie Maje, and I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path. So to all our new and returning listeners out there, if you're finding yourself in need of a little reroute, are already meandering down that unforeseen pathway in life, whether by choice, force, or somewhere in between, or just interested in possibly thinking about things a little bit differently, this could be the show for you. We will be sharing personal accounts, stories, and a variety of perspectives in order to help us all gain a greater sense of community and connectivity in this little thing we call life. Just a little disclaimer before we begin, Though we do try to keep a mostly G and or PG rating here at A Detoured Path, we are discussing life, and life is not always G and or PG rated. That's just something to keep in mind in case you are listening with any little itty bitty tater tots present. Chelsea, tell me a story, a fleck of insecurity creeping up the side of me, hoping soon that it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy, waiting for its time to shine, laying dormant in my mind, thinking that I will not find any inkling of its sign, expecting timing is its friend, waiting till the bitter end, while I think I'm on the mend. This is when it hits its send. You little bugger. She muffles underneath her breath, hoping no one is actually listening and hears her. But they do. They always do. Just talking to myself out loud in public, just trying to weigh the pros and cons of what is right, what is right, what is right, right, what is really right, what is really, really, really right, right, what is really right, and what is really, really right, right, right. Right. Where am I going with this? How am I supposed to know where to go? How am I supposed to know what to do? And how am I supposed to know when to do it? She drifts and slides from left to right, barely seeing what's in sight. She lets distractions part her way. Is that better? Shall I stay? It's hard to know which path to choose. Sometimes it's old. Sometimes it's new open to the changed events, removing presence from pretense, being guided by her team, flow with the current like a stream, no use in rushing to the end when you're only at a bend. I'm 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 only at a bend, I'm only at a bend, at a bend, at a bend, at a bend, at a bend. I'm only at a bend. Now believe it. Believe it. Believing is seeing. Believing is seeing. Believing is seeing. Maybe if I see it in my mind's eye first, then maybe, just maybe, I'll believe it. If I say it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to myself 100 times, then maybe I'll believe it. I can't see that, though. I can't see clearly. I don't know that I have to see it in my mind's eye first. I can't tell that I'm only at a bend. I just think that this is a rough patch, and I think that this rough patch is it. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with. I think I'm over. I think I'm done for. I think I'm a failure. I think this is it. I'm over. I'm done. A failure finito. Over with. Done with. I'm over. I'm done with it. I've had enough. I've had enough of it. Enough. I think the bend in the road... The bend in the river, the bend in the ever-present ocean of life, is the crash that throws me back into the boat and says, Just sit there. Wait. Hang tight. Who do you think you are? 
What makes you think you are so special? Who says that you are supposed to be the cream that rises to the top? You think you're great? Well, I, who call myself the crash, the one that knocked you back into your boat, I am even greater. The bend makes me get caught up in my sails. The bend marvels at my lack of coordination, blustering and floundering. It laughs when I get tangled and trapped and trip in the wire, the ropes, the clutter, and all the other nonsensicals I find on top of the deck of my metaphorical life ship. It throws its head back uproariously as it says, You're not there yet. Take a step back. Take a step way back. You haven't made it yet. You haven't made it to mastery yet. You're not good enough. You're not good enough yet. You are not good enough yet. What makes you think you could ever be good enough? What makes you think you could ever even sail? What makes you think you have even made the first move going in the right direction? What makes you think you are even on the right path? What makes you think you were ever even on the right path to begin with? Who do you think you are? No, really. Who? Do you think you are? Who am I? Who am I? I am source energy. I am source energy made of light. I am energy and I am light. But I can't see that yet. Because when I'm in it, I am in it. I don't even know that I'm in it. To begin with, I am in it with no cause to begin with. I'm excited. I look forward, even invigorated, with it. And to the lights, they come on, and the smoke seeps and streams with it. The lights, they were on, but the smoke smeared, seared fear in it. And the smoke we all saw because lack of fear hadn't cleared in it. Thank you so much for your time and attention thus far. We are just going to take a brief moment to recognize today's sponsor, Inker, for providing a free platform for people like myself to get their podcast off the ground. With little to no previous technical know-how, Anchor makes the whole process pretty straightforward. Go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, or download the free Anchor app today to get started. With just a click of a button, you too can be heard on multiple platforms. Because lack of fear hadn't cleared in it. So, we'll go to our center. That's where we'll start. If we move from the midline, it makes it hard to take part. The further away from ourselves that we go, the more it will dampen and stifle our flow. The best version of us is always just you. Mimicking others is not what we'll do. By being 100% true to thyself, we will be only us, and we are nobody else. By sitting in our truth, our truths, and in all the facets, components, and attributes that our truths may include, we are honoring who we really are. We can show up. We can all show up. We can show up with our best foot forward. We can show up with the best versions of ourselves. We can show up with the best versions of ourselves for ourselves and for other people. By taking care of ourselves first, we can then take better care of ourselves together. 
When you travel on an airplane, they always give a speech about what to do in an emergency. In an emergency, they always tell you to put your own mask and life vest on first before you can carry on helping someone else. A drowning person is not the most effective way to save another drowning person. We have to, to secure ourselves first so that we can best and most effectively secure other people. So how do we best go about not drowning? We have to choose not to drown. And how exactly are we going to do that? We are going to start by how we think, and we are going to start by how we talk to ourselves in our own heads. Simple, but yet not always easy. We are going to say things like, I'm going to choose to be fabulous, so that is what I'll be. I'm going to choose to be fabulous, so that is what I'll see. I'm going to choose to be fabulous, because that's inside of me. I'm going to choose to be fabulous in spite of lack and scarcity. I'm going to choose to be fabulous because then I am and will be free. I choose to be fabulous because there is one and only me. What I tolerate is what I'll get. What I tolerate is what I'll be. What I tolerate does not have to be the nonsense I let sift inside me. Who said it was necessary to be mean to myself? Who said it was necessary to yell and scream? Who said rough tactics full of suffering and pain would be the most effective form of self-encouragement? Did inner drill sergeant of the now join forces with ancestor generals of the past in order to make sure we all stayed in line because heaven forbid we might actually be nice to ourselves? Because really, that would just be asking too much. It's not as if being nice would actually allow us to accomplish anything, now would it? We can be nice to other people, but we cannot be nice to ourselves because that really would be just asking too much. Sometimes it literally can feel like we are trying to pull up all the arbitrary and fruitless weeds from an overgrown and abandoned garden. We have to constantly remind ourselves to work on what is here, right now, in the present, or otherwise we are bound to head into a tailspin of what could be. Out there, in the unforeseeable future. It is out there, unseen, because it is meant to be unseen. So there is no use fretting and spending time worrying about what we can't see. If we were meant to see it, then we would. So it is time to work on what is right in front of us. Work on what is right in front of you, Chelsea. Work on what is right in front of you. Police. She pauses. Yes, self. Is there a problem? Do we have a problem here, self? If there is a problem, you are going to have to speak up, and you are going to have to speak very, very clearly. And be specific this time. What exactly is the problem? What exactly is the problem? The problem is... Well, the problem is... The problem is, is that I see things the way I think they should or could be, and not as how they are. I get mad and angry and irritated and upset and frustrated and irritated and upset and irritated and upset and irritated and upset and irritated 
and upset. When things as they are in this version of our reality do not measure up to what I know they can and have the potential and possibility to be. Oh, higher power now sees. We observe and then a nerve describe what we see as verb. It's upsetting and we're fretting. Even find we're regretting. So much sorrow till tomorrow, but then we miss it time borrowed. We are frozen because we've chosen extensive emotional corrosion. We were guided, but then we sided with the lack we thought provided. We chided, but then minded to grow with kindness thought provided. Is this real or imagined? Things not what they seem? Signs coming in like thoughts from a dream? It's all your decision how you choose to react. Free will is a privilege, not something we lack. We will and we try and we force with our might, but sometimes the mission requires no fight. We're all on a journey, just doing our best. Sometimes we run and sometimes we rest. As long as we're ready to favor the cause, we'll never be lost because the cause is not lost. Okay, she says to self. I choose to see things in a positive light. I choose to live my life so that my fantasy of what could be really does become what can be. I choose to not let my life be controlled by my reality. I choose to live my life the way I believe it to be. I choose to let my life not have control over me. I choose. I choose me. A fleck of insecurity creeping up the side of me hoping soon that it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy, waiting for its time to shine, laying dormant in my mind, thinking that I will not find any inkling of its sign, expecting timing is its friend, waiting till the bitter end, while I think I'm on the mend, this is when it hits its send. Send interrupted. A fleck of insecurity? Guess what? You shall not be. A fleck was only a fleck until we chose to flick it away. It got no love, no time, no attention, and no financial investment, and so therefore it did not have the nourishment it needed to grow. And because it got no acknowledgement that it was ever even really there to begin with, it could never again take up any residence inside our brains, and our being, ever, ever again. And friends, it looks like that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever or whenever you are doing so today. To comment, message, support, donate, and subscribe, please go to our host platform, Anchor. We are located at A-N-C-H-O-R dot fm slash a dash detoured d-e-t-o-u-r-e-d dash path p-a-t-h we are available and searchable internationally on 21 platforms but going directly to our host platform anchor is the best way to stay connected leave a review and our rating if you liked what you heard and hit subscribe to get all the latest podcast updates and information Your support and donations will help to continue the workflow, volume, and frequency of a detoured path so that we can continue to flood your airways on a more regular basis. In the meantime, if you're looking for more thoughts, stories, and insights while you're waiting for the next episode of A Detoured Path to come out, you can find the book Short Girl Diaries, unedited and grammatically incorrect, 
by Chelsea Marie Manger. Last name is spelled capital M-A-U-G as in good, E-R as in red, which is available on Amazon in both print and Kindle formats, as well as through the Kindle Unlimited program where you can read pages for free. Come join us on Instagram by following at Chelsea Marie Manger, all one word, C-H-E-L-S-E-A, M-A-R-I-E, M-A-U-G-E-R. Stop by and say hi. Say the podcast sent you. So, until next time, my name is Chelsea Marie Manger, and you've been listening to A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.